Prime Minister. You look a bit pale. Perhaps... No. I must refrain from thinking such things. Now is the time for us to destroy Wu and unite the land beneath Shu. We shall engage Wei at Wu Zhang Plains for the final battle. This era of grief and sadness has gone on for far too long. May the light of hope guide our path once the fighting has ceased. Prime Minister, I shall embody your spirit and all that you have lived for. Let us go. Now is the time that Shu shall bring peace to all the land. Zhang Wei, you were most impressive at Baidi Castle. Thanks to you eliminating Wu, we can turn our full attention to the impending battle at the Wu Zhang Plains. The enemy fears our spirit for this upcoming battle, and has done all they can to strengthen their defenses. We must keep our supply lines intact and use our provisions wisely in order to overrun the enemy position. Zhang Wei, if something were to happen, I want you to carry on without me. In the next era, it will be up to you and the youth of today to rebuild the land. This is it. Here at Wu Zhang, our long-standing battle with Wei shall come to an end. It's just as I foretold. However, the road getting here was even more difficult than I had imagined. Prime Minister! Let us go. The time has come for us to unite the land. This battle is fated to be my last. Therefore, I must use it to fulfill my master's wish. We have come a long way. We must protect our supply line. So eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige you. My lady, preparations are complete as ordered. We should have no trouble escaping danger with these wood oxen on our side. We will win this battle, and a new era of peace will be born. Was not enough. I defeated an officer. Destroy them. Don't hold anything back. Everything you got! <laughs> Crush them! 
Impressive. So, my might was not enough. I defeated an officer. We have brought what you ordered. Ah, it's me. This will change the tide of the battle. This may be the end for my army. Solidify our defenses and prepare for the enemy attack. The catapults are ready, sir. Fire. Fire at will. Leave not a single enemy soldier alive. I defeated an officer. Come for me. an officer! for strategy. It's over already. I defeated an officer! Supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. 
Impressive skill. You're alone. You don't think I'm stupid. Grant me just a few more hours. It's no use for oh, the pain. I defeated an officer! It'll take more than just you to stop me! Attacking alone? You lost your mind! Nothing like the chaos of the land. I defeated an officer! Something's not right. No. Prime Minister. No! <laughs> Zhuge Liang is dead. All units move to counterattack. Prime Minister, help me to live up to your brilliance. Attack once more, for the glory of our Prime Minister! So this is to be my final battle. I defeated an We must hang on and wait for an opportunity to arise. You will not live through this battle. Die in such a 
I defeated an officer! Idiots! All of you! Let's see you handle this! In battle, one's head is not just filling a helmet. I need reinforcements! Left unfulfilled. I defeated an officer! Unfulfilled. I defeated an officer! Fool! You have just chosen the path to your own death! You should have kept a better eye on you. Really made me angry. Kill you in the name of my Prime Minister! You'll never be anything but a Weasley! So like you! Such foolish times to not make use of my talents. I defeated an officer! Thanks to the Prime Minister's brilliant plan, we were able to defeat Wei. All of my men did an excellent job in controlling their grief and fighting against the enemy. The Prime Minister left behind a path toward unification of the land. Now, it is up to those of us left behind to create a new future where the people and the land will not be tempted toward the path to ruin. A new but this It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, 
brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Jiang Wei from the Tian Shui region. His father, a warrior, was slain when he was still a young boy. Raised only by his mother, he excelled in the martial arts and was also a diligent scholar. When he became a young man, he was made a court official in honor of his father's great achievements. He became an officer for Wei and was assigned to Tian Shui. Not long after, his new post was attacked by Xu's army, led by Zhu Ge Liang. Jiang Wei did everything he could to defend his position and succeeded in pushing the enemy back. Upon learning that his skills impressed the great Zhu Ge Liang, Jiang Wei defected from Wei and joined Xu. Thereafter, he served Zhu Ge Liang by aiding in the campaigns against Wei. Jiang Wei showed extraordinary talent and exceeded Zhu Ge Liang's expectations. However, Zhu Ge Liang's abilities still surpassed those of Jiang Wei, and he did his best to teach him everything he could. In 232 AD, the Shu army prepared themselves for their fight against Wei at the Wuzhang Plains. Zhu Ge Liang led the attack despite suffering from illness, and Jiang Wei aided him in the desperate battle. The battle ended with Xu as the victor. It was Liu Bei who first dreamed of creating a peaceful land. Zhu Ge Liang dedicated his life to those dreams, but fulfilling them would ultimately be entrusted to the young and capable hands of Jiang Wei. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Prime Minister, this land we've united, I shall protect it with my life. <laughs> 